So your basic chord progression for this song is going to go as follows in the right hand. That's a G sharp minor. That's an E major. And that's a D sharp minor. Keep in mind that these are the inversions of these chords that I like. Uh, you can feel free to switch them up at any point. So instead of playing that inversion of G sharp minor, for example, you could play that or that, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Uh, your left hand is going to go as follows. That's your main backing track for the verses. Here are the two parts together. That just keeps on looping. That's your main backing track for your verses. Then you're also going to notice that there's one other higher part that gets played intermittently during the verses. That's going to go as follows win the right hand with the same left hand that I just showed you. I'll show you how that works with the left hand in a second. Putting those two parts together, you should get something like this for the higher part in your verses. Your right hand chord progression is going to go as follows G sharp minor. That's a C sharp minor, but you're going to be playing E in the left hand, so I guess that translates into an E sixth. That's an F sharp major. And that's a D sharp minor. And since there's only the one little the fame, as far as uh, vocals are concerned, I'm going to work that into the chord progression I just showed you. So you're going to have the upbeat of, and then one is right here. So it's, With that, your left hand's going to be playing. Putting the two parts together, this is your chorus. your chorus. Then there's this really weird little interlude before T.I. starts his verse. I think it feels really out of place and ruins what otherwise would have been a decent song, but I don't know. If you agree with me, thumbs up. If not, whatever. Here it is anyway. Your right hand for this part is going to go as follows. then your left hand is going to go as follows.
bring those two parts together. This is the small little interlude before TI's verse. That's a small interlude. Then the chord progression from TI's verse is going to shift up a little bit, both from GZ's verse and from the chorus. Here are the chords in the right hand as follows. G sharp minor, E major, B major, and then F sharp major. And you'll notice typical pop four chord progression. Nice that TI is out of jail, it kind of fits with it. So uh, the chord progression in the left hand is going to go as follows. Now you're also going to notice that I'm adding some leading notes that help kind of push what you're hearing towards the next chord. So I'm going to play my version of the right hand now. those two parts together, this is the backing track to T.I.'s verses. And there you have it, Fame by Young Jeezy featuring T.I.